Hello everyone, my name is Afayaka773, and in this video, I killed the warden on a random seed in 10 minutes. This is the world record for bedrock edition by over 20 minutes, although I'm pretty sure people have done it faster on Java. And the way I found the ancient city was in the weirdest way possible. I think I'll do some post-commentary over the run because, to be honest, it's not the most interesting until I get to the ancient city. Uh, but basically, I started out the run trying to look for a stronghold village. When you're playing random seed glitchless on version 1.19, on Bedrock Edition, the goal is to find a stronghold village, because on Bedrock, villages spawn under strongholds. It's really weird, but you need to go far away, so I have invented? I don't know if it's an invention, it's just something I do when I run random seed. It's called double village strats. It's where I try to find a village on spawn, I loot it, and then with the stuff from the village, I run to coordinates that could have a stronghold in it. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm looting the first village, crafting my tools, getting beds and food, and then I'm going to... Well, I would run over there, but I'm actually going to end up boating because there's a lot of ocean. Um, you just have so yeah, to just crafting up my tools. I'm going to kill the golem more, too. This village is actually too. kind of slow because the terrain is really annoying. So no, I spend a lot more time right, here than I would need. Obvious. So killing the warden in 10 minutes in and of itself is not very fast. It just happens to be world record on Bedrock because it's not very often you just stumble your way into an ancient city with like a bed and an iron sword. So that's what, yeah, that's what kind of happens. I actually go to the stronghold village that's kind of further away. Or, okay. I'm calling it a stronghold village. It is not a stronghold village, but I dig down at the village, assuming it's stronghold, and then fall in the ancient city. And when I fall in the ancient city, something really cool happens. So you're gonna watch. You you're going to watch. It is not a question until then. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm just going up here, looking for the golem, and I'm gonna kill it because I want to make a bucket just in case I find a lava pool. Because then I'll enter through the lava pool because it'll be faster. I don't see it yet, though. It's in a really weird spot, I remember. I think it's, like, up here all the way. Cool block clutch. Yeah, it's, like, all the way over here, so I don't know how I got there. But after missing it a fair few times, I try to build up here, realize I'm probably too slow, and then I go over here, which is the better spot. And then I'll just stab him a few times, and I'll make a bucket. And then I'll head out and get in the boat. So what's really cool about... My, I guess, just RSG runs is that I play on really high render distance. I have 28 render distance, which I did math at some point for how long it is. Uh, but you can see a really, really long way away. And so when I get on this open ocean here, even though it's like 500 and so blocks away, I can actually see the village from all the way, uh, not right here, but very soon I can see the village. And I say some things, my audio is a little quiet in the background, but you can hear me say like, is that strong on the village? How do I see it from so far away? But when I turn the corner here, eventually <clears throat> it will start to load in. Right about now, I think is when I first see it. Yeah, that little square thing in the distance is a Savannah house. So it's a Savannah village, so you can get buckets and chests, but I have no use for that, so I already have a bucket. So I'm just gonna go to the village. I'm gonna kill the iron golem and make a pickaxe and sword because that makes the nether and the dig down a lot easier. And then I'm gonna dig down and you know, I don't find a stronghold, but I find an ancient city. So Wait, voting over there right now, the boats go super quick. Like so even traveling like 550 blocks only takes like less than a There's minute, no I think. I and I'm right about on the shores right There's now. Okay. I think I might be mistaken. No, okay, I was wrong. I thought I was going to grab more food, but I actually have all the food I need. So never mind. I make some more sticks so I can make the iron sword and the iron pickaxe though, because we only had two right then. So yeah, right on the shores of the village right now. I'm already looking for the golem, trying to kill it so I can make more tools. I'm going to get my boat back, although I don't really end up needing this boat. I try to do something stupid with it when I'm in the, in the ancient city. Uh, I tried to trap the warden in a boat. That does not work. You cannot trap the warden in a boat. I tried. It does not work. But you can trap the iron golem in a boat for some reason, and 
I think I might actually do that on this run. I don't remember. Where's the golem? Where's the golem? Uh, wait, no, I do actually put the golem in a boat on this run. I remember now. Yeah, because he's right here. And so I do make use of this boat, and I put the golem in the boat. I don't know why I do this. It's, like, not really that much faster. It's just kind of funny. So, golem boat. I actually hit it one, two little times, and so it hits me once, but not really a huge deal. So... Then I'm going to do a strategy called Spring Strats, which is how I dig down and find the stronghold. Uh, or would, if there was a stronghold. But I actually do it very wrong here. Uh, I was commentating a tournament like earlier that day and saying, like, bro, I never miss Spring Strats. Uh, oh, wait, never mind. I did it right. <laughs> I did it right here. Never mind. Okay, so Arrow, Arrow yelled at me for doing it wrong. But I did not do it wrong. So he was wrong. Uh, but anyway, I thought I did it wrong. Uh, I thought it was left side, but I just went on right, and that was correct. So, if there was a stronghold here, I would find it, but there isn't, and now we're just digging down for a while. There's, like, some weird water caves, but I have blocks, so I just kind of swim and block the water out. And, um, in a moment here, I'll stop talking, just so the kind of moment can play out, because the way to get into the ancient city is honestly really cool, and I'm happy with it, just... Take note that the water bucket is right next to my pickaxe and my hotbar, and that is by design, because if something were to happen I and I were to fall in a cave, in I'd be able to clutch. So I'll let the moment play out for itself. Yeah, I know, but I haven't gotten this uh, Savannah Bell. No, oh! Uh, I'm in an ancient city. What do I do? Kill the, wait, uh, I don't remember how to do the bed tower. I'll figure it out. So, yeah. Arrow reminded me that kill the warden is actually a category because I was just going to go find, okay. like, a god apple or something, you know, and it that. wouldn't have been anything interesting. But I was reminded that kill warden is a category, yeah. and pretty much nobody plays it, so I can it beat it by, like, 20 minutes. So I went and looked for a skull shrieker. Where, 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 there where, is where? a way... To kill the golem, not the golem, the kill the warden very efficiently with a bed tower. And it's where you tower up a few blocks, you place a bed, and then you just spam it with your sword. And then whenever you know the warden is about to shoot you, because it makes it pretty obvious when it's about to shoot you, uh, you drop your sword, and then once you die to the sonically charged attack, mm -hmm. you will respawn on top of the bed, and then you can just grab your sword. But I really don't know how to do that or how to spawn the warden because I've never done anything like this. So I don't know. Really, I don't really know what you I'm doing here. Eventually, I run over to it and start like hitting over there, and that spawns it pretty quickly. And then I have a very. Kind of spooky guy. I guess let's just put it as interesting warden fight. Uh, like I, I said, I don't like know what I'm doing at all. I've looked into it more now. And there's ways to, like, grab your sword and then jump in a hole and then kill the there warden, and it's so much more efficient. In. There's ways to do the tower, and I didn't really do that, and it's so much more efficient. Yeah, I right did now. what I like to call the brute force so method, like uh, which way. is uh, hitting it, um, getting attacked, it creeps, though, and I which it do does it. right about now, and then running in circles, <laughs> well, respawning, trying to get a weapon, and then just <laughs> slapping it over and over. So I do this for about two and a half minutes. Like, I try to trap it in the boat here. It does not work, but I see my iron sword. I run over to get it, and I really hope it doesn't fall in the water right there. Uh, yes, Luckily, it does times, not. It's right over really here, but this. I can't grab it right now, so I just use my axe. Uh, the beginning really of this fight is really slow because I'm kind of just like learning how I can avoid the warden. But the longer I do this for, like the more I kind of get a get the hang of how to not die immediately. Uh, <clears throat> like right now, I'm just immediately running when I spawn in. I start looking the direction I want to run, and then going. But that's over time. I'm, 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 I'm a quick learner when it comes to stabbing the most dangerous mob in Minecraft. Uh, but, but yeah, I get a great combo right here, but it just treaks and I die. Um, yeah, there's really not much else for me to say right here. I'm kind of just running in circles and stabbing the warden, but it does die soon, so. I'll let the rest of the video just kind of play out. Thank you for listening to Post Commentary of Iacus, and see you guys next time I get a long enough video for it to be an excuse. So it's going to be like over here.
I wish you had a health bar. That would make things a lot easier. Okay. You do not have a health bar. God damn it. I didn't get enough obsidian. I had to do jump cycle. I lost my not Oh, I killed it. Yay. Okay, that was like probably sub 20. 